What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you the correct way to do Amazon FBA product research. Now, there are a lot of things that you need to look at when you are trying to find a product and a lot of people make the same mistake. So I'm gonna show you a couple tips and tricks that I do when I'm looking at products to make sure that I'm doing the correct product research. All right, so we're gonna get into my computer. We're gonna be using Helium 10, but before we get into it, if you could just smash that like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel, that would really help me out. So thank you for that. If you like what I do, then why not subscribe, right? All right, so with that being said, let's jump into my computer right now and break down how to do product research the correct way. Let's go. All right, so here we are inside of Helium 10. And first off, I'm gonna show one mistake that a lot of new sellers make. We are gonna use their product research tool called Black Box, and I'm gonna open it up here. And a lot of new sellers only know one way to find a product. They use the products tab right here. They pick a couple categories that they think are good, arts and crafts, um, home and kitchen. They put a couple data points right here. So they say they wanna make $6,000 in revenue per month. They do a price point of like 12 to let's say $25. I'm just going fast here. They do a max review count of 120 and that's all they do. They hit search Helium 10 or any other software will show 200 plus products found. Now, what does that mean? You did not do enough filtering. You didn't narrow down the search enough. So they only display up to 200 products. So that's why in my other videos, you could check those out, but I show you how to use advanced filters, different techniques to find a narrowed down search result for that product or the keyword. I like to use the keywords tab. You could use any of these other tabs as well. So never just type in a couple data points and try to find a product. So that's why I like to use filters. You could use the shipping tier size, choose a product that is a smaller product. You could go down here and do it by the BSR. But I show a lot of these different techniques in my other videos if you wanna check them out, so I'm not gonna get into it. But the main thing is use different filters. So just going off of that, let's go down here and I'll show you another mistake that a lot of new Amazon sellers make. So they go down here and they find a product, let's see, like this one right here. So this says decorative stoneware pillar or taper candle holder. So it's basically a candle holder and they see that this person is doing $8,300 a month in revenue with only 89 reviews. So they think, okay, that's a good product, I'm gonna launch it. But you have to look at the overall market. So to do that, I'm gonna pull it up in Amazon and check the overall market, not just one seller's data. So here they are. I'm gonna just copy that main keyword so I don't have to type it in. It is a candle holder. And I'm gonna get into the main keyword in a minute to make sure you're doing the right product research off of that main keyword. But we're gonna hit search and see all of the sellers selling candle holders. So we could see right off the bat, the top seller right here has 3,400 reviews. Um, some of these sellers have low reviews, but let's check the overall market by running Helium 10 X-Ray. So we are gonna check all of the seller's data, not just one seller, to make sure that it is a decent product. So that one seller only had, I think it was 89 reviews and they were doing like eight or $9,000 a month. But you could see sellers on page one that have high reviews, over 200 reviews, 900 reviews, and their revenue is very low. So the main point is don't just look at one product, look at the overall market because if one seller is doing well, that does not mean the whole market is a good market to launch in. We could see the average reviews are a lot higher than 89, and that is why you wanna look at the complete market, not just that one product that pops up on uh, Helium 10 black box. That is why I also like to use the keywords tab because I've always found better products based on keyword data. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my other product research videos as well but I like to use this tab and then use the filters inside the keywords tab. So always experiment when you are looking for products, use different filters. There's no right or wrong way of finding a product, um, but that is just one thing that I do. All right, so here's another mistake that a lot of Amazon sellers make. They type in a keyword and then they run Helium 10 X-Ray or they find a keyword or a product and then they run Helium 10 X-Ray. And the first thing you wanna do is go right here to where it says search volume and you can see it says NA. So if it ever says NA or the volume is very low, like 100 searches, that is not your main keyword. So you always wanna do your product research based off of the main keyword. The main keyword is the most relevant keyword that a customer would type in to find your product that has the most search volume. So if we go off of this data, nobody is searching this keyword. So we're not getting the accurate picture of the overall market for the main keyword. So we would wanna find the main keyword for this product. We could see that there are sellers making pretty good revenue with low reviews. Um, this one's doing $32,000 a month with 18 reviews. So we wanna see the overall market for the main keyword and figure out what that main keyword is. So what you wanna do is go to the top seller. 
So it could be any of these two right here. These are the first rank sellers. This one is not the actual product. So make sure that you are doing it on the product that you are looking to sell. So that would be this one right here. We are looking at this type of product. It is a table projector for kids. And a lot of times you can look at their title and right there you can see it says drawing projector table for kids. So I'm guessing that is probably going to be the main keyword, but we want to just double check and verify. So to do that, we are going to go right here next to that main seller, that top seller that is ranked number one on Amazon. And we are going to run keyword research. So this is going to bring up Cerebro, which is Helium 10's uh, reverse ASIN keyword research tool. It's going to show what keywords that top seller is ranking for. So here it is. And you could see right here, we have 4,400 keywords down here. You've probably seen this in any of my other videos, but what I do is go right here to organic rank. I type in one through five or one through 10. And now we are going to find all of the keywords that this seller is ranked for in position one through five. Meaning if you go on Amazon and type in any of these keywords, that seller's listing is going to pop up in position one through five. So I'm going to hit apply right here and we are going to see what pulls up. So we went from 4,400 keywords down to 98. And then what I do is go right here to the search volume. I'm going to do highest to lowest. And here we go. So there's that main keyword, drawing projector for kids. 12,800 monthly searches. Now that is a lot better than NA or 100 searches. Now we know that this would be the main keyword that you'd want to put in your listing and your title. You'd want to target this when you're running ads in Amazon. Um, but we're going to pull it up and now check the overall market for the main keyword now that we know what the main keyword is. So you could see it brings up a lot of different types of products. We only want to do the research based off of this product because people aren't going to be buying this if they're looking for this one. So initially I thought this was the main keyword drawing projector for kids, which it kind of is, but it's really a projector drawing table for kids because it's an actual table. It is not like a tracing pad or drawing pad. So I'm going to pull this up under the main keyword and check the overall market. So now we could see this is the product we were initially looking at launching. Um, and it is all these different tables for projection drawing kits or tables for kids, whatever they are. I'm just showing this as an example. I'm going to run Helium 10 X-Ray and I'm going to show you a couple other mistakes that a lot of new sellers make. So now that we have a keyword that actually has surge volume, we could see the averages right here. But look at this. Average reviews are 959. But if we go to the top sellers, I mean, a lot of these sellers have under 10 reviews. A lot of them have zero reviews. So why is it showing 959 average reviews up here? Well, that is because if there are not enough spots on page one or other products are ranking for this random keyword, then you're gonna get a lot of irrelevant products popping up on page one. So there are two ways to get rid of those products so you could see the actual market for this specific keyword or product. And what you can do is either go down here and look for all of the different types of products that are not related to the main product that we're looking at. So like this one right here, this is Crayola. It's a light up tracing pad. This is not a projection table for kids. So what you would do is go through each of these products and delete them because they are not that table. Here's another one, an LCD writing tablet. Um, there are a lot of other products that are not these actual tables. So you'd go in here and then you'd hit this little trash can here and it would delete those. Or you could take that main keyword, which is projector drawing table for kids. You're going to go right here to where it says filter results. And then where it says title keyword search, we are going to type in that main keyword. Or we could just type in projector table. And then I'm going to hit apply filters and look at the average reviews. So the average reviews go from 959 down to 14 and everything else changes right here but it, the only thing that does not change is the success score so that's why i don't go off of this right here because this does not change when you adjust the market to the actual product or keyword but now we can see the overall picture of these actual products that we were looking at we can see the average reviews are a lot lower than that 900 number we can see the revenue did drop but that is still pretty good revenue on um, price point bsr everything is adjusted now to that main keyword and if you look at all the different products on page one now they are all very similar. They are the actual tables, not just writing pads. Um, and now we have a clear picture of the overall market. We can look at the amount of reviews they have to their revenue. Um, and the revenue is a little low towards the bottom, but there are some sellers doing decent revenue. I'm not saying to sell this product. I am using it as an example. So there is one other mistake that a lot of Amazon sellers make, and I will show you that right now. I'm going to clear the filters and they pull up data right here. So here we go. And then what they do is they start to organize whatever is pulling up on x-ray so what they do is go right here to revenue and they will do like highest to lowest 
And you don't wanna do this because you wanna see how these products are pulling up under that keyword because each listing is ranked based on the amount of sales that they are getting. So it's called BSR best seller rank. The lower the BSR, the better. That means a faster sales velocity, which means they are selling the product at a quicker pace. So you don't wanna organize the products on X-Ray because they are pulling up in specific locations because that's where they are ranked. Meaning they are on page one in that spot because that's the amount that they're selling. So you don't want to just start adjusting all these different numbers. You want to keep them in their organic rank. And now you can see all of the numbers over here are all over the place. So you never want to just organize it from highest to lowest revenue. You want to keep it how it pulls up on Amazon so you could see what sellers are making what in what position. Now I know that might be confusing, but just remember, never organize the data inside of X-Ray. It is pulling up like that because that is exactly where those sellers are ranked for that specific keyword on Amazon. All right, so those are a few tips and techniques that I use when I am doing product research so you can make sure that you are doing the correct product research and not looking at a false number at the top like the average reviews. You now know that you are doing the correct product research based off of those actual products or keywords that you are looking to sell. All right, so that is it for this video. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, do that now. Uh, make sure to join my Amazon FBA Facebook community. The link is down below. Helium 10 is down below. I also teach people how to sell on Amazon. Everything is down below in the description. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.